Hello and welcome to Rocket Systems YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to talk about OpenCV because we will be using OpenCV a lot in our coming videos. So OpenCV is a Python library which you can use in order to do image processing on images or video files. So without wasting any time let's just simply go and create our first project of OpenCV. So what I'm going to do is that I will be creating a new folder. So let's create a folder and let's type it. Let's say Jetson Computer Vision. I will put the link to download this whole project in the description box so you can download all the files from the description and then you don't have to rewrite everything. Inside this, I'm going to create a new folder called image where, we, where I will be saving all my images. And let's create another folder for videos and let's create another folder where I will be saving all my model files. Now let's open up our Visual Studio code and then we will create new files here. So uh, let's go in applications, development and Visual Studio code. Now inside Visual Studio code, let's open up our directory. So open folder and let's go inside documents and Jetson computer vision and let's open it up. Yes, I trust the author and yeah. Now let's create a new file. Sorry, let's create a new file and let's call it OpenCV example dot pipe. So in this OpenCV example.py, we, we will be looking at some of the basic things which you will be doing in, in the OpenCV. For example, how to read image file, how to read video file, how to uh, draw a rectangle or a circle, and then how to put text on your image file. Because these are the few basic operations which you, you will be doing in any of your uh, computer vision projects. So let's start by importing our CV2. So I'll use import CV2. After CV2, let's also import imutils. imutils. Now, next thing which we need to do is we need to read a image file. So let's take a variable image equals to CV2 dot im read. Im read is used to read a image file and let's uh, open up an image file but I we do not have any image file so let me just quickly download any image from uh, the Google and then we will use that okay so what I've done is that I have downloaded this image from uh, from Google you can use any image you want so let's open up this image inside our OpenCV example so what I'll do I'll write IMG and then slash the name of my image file which is image.jpg so image.jpg now once that is done we just have to show cv2.im show and then we will write our uh, the name of our window so let's say application and then we will simply write here image and after that we will use cv2.wait key key equals to cv2.wait key 1 and if key is equals to equals to q so whenever we are pressing q that um, sorry so that window of the open cv will close so after that we will close that and then once that is done cv2 dot destroy all windows perfect so let's let me just open up a terminal let's move inside our project directory and then let's run this example so i'll move inside cd documents jetson vision and then here i will simply type python 3 and open cv example okay looks like we have a syntax error okay so i think i did a mistake here i thought of uh, importing the video so instead of this what we need to do is let me just quickly 
remove this part of the code and then we'll press zero so this means that opencv window will keep on waiting so when we define zero the opencv window will keep on waiting until and unless we press any key so it will then automatically close so let's go here and then let's run this code again now you will notice that it has loaded our image file but the image is quite big so we are not able to properly show it on our window so let's resize this image now so i'll press any key and then the the, the close the code has closed so what we will do is we will use this im utils uh, library to resize our image file so i will use image equals to im utils dot resize sorry resize and then here i'll use width equals to 400 so we are resizing the image the width of the image by 400 now let's rerun the code to see how the effect look like so python 3 opens v okay so for example so we, we actually forgot to mention the image file as well so we have to mention image the name of the image file as well So in the IM utils, we have to mention the image and then the width and then it should resize. So let's rerun this. Perfect. So now you can see our image file has resized to, to the width of 400. So this way you can load any image, uh, image file into your Python OpenCV example. Now let's do one thing let's um, write a random text at the top left corner of the image so i'll press escape and then after once we have loaded our image file we will use cv2 dot put text to write any text on the opencv window So first parameter of cv2 dot put text is our uh, our image. So I'll mention image here. The next parameter is the text. So any text which you want, you can mention here. So for example, this is my text. Now after this, we have to mention the the position where this text will be displayed. So for example, I'm just taking five cross five, so which means x is five and the y is five. Now after this we have to mention the font which we want to use so we can mention that as well. So we will be using the font Hershey complex small there are a lot of uh, fonts available in the CV2 you can use that after that we just have to mention the size and then the color so this is this is in the format of RGB you can mention any RGB values here and then how much uh, uh, the size you want so once you do that and if you run this code again you will notice that it will show our text as well okay so I think we are missing okay we are missing this now let's rerun this perfect so you can notice that this is showing our text but I think we need to resize our uh, window so let's make it for example 800 and then rerun it perfect but i think this is because majorly covered by our upper window so we need to reposition our text as well so instead of 5 5 let's take it 20 cross 20 and then let's see where it is shown perfect so you can see now our text is displaying in a good position so this is done now next thing what we need to do is let's try to make a rectangle at a given position so i will simply press escape and then now in order to draw a rectangle we will use cv2 draw rectangle and then inside its parameters first parameter we have to pass our image file or in case of video it can be a frame now next is we need to pass the coordinates so this is first x1 and y1 and this is the x2 and y2 now after that we need to define the color which color we want so again this is in the rgb format you can define any other color and then this is the the thickness of the, the rectangle now let's try to run the code and see how the rectangle is looking like so perfect so this is our text and this is where our rectangle is drawn 
now let's try to reposition the x2 and y2 coordinates so instead of 40 let's make it uh, for example 400 then we'll see how our rectangle is looking so amazing so now you can see that our rectangle is quite bigger because obviously we have defined uh, we have changed the x2 and the y2 coordinates so this is how you can draw a rectangle you can also draw you know circle as well and there are many other options available uh, for drawing in case of OpenCV. so this was all about how you can read an image file now let's quickly see how we can read a video file and process it so what i'll do i will quickly comment all of this code and then we will uh, write the code for our video file now to read frames from your video file you need a video file so i have saved a video file inside my videos directory now let's start by reading frames from this video file so for that we will define a variable and we will use cv2 dot video capture now inside the video capture if i define zero then it will automatically pick up the zeroth uh, video source which probably can be your webcam now instead of this if you define the name of any video file it will automatically uh, start loading the video file now instead of this video file if you define rtsp url then it will automatically starts to read frames from that rtsp url so you can define pretty much any of the video source inside the video capture function and then it will load that uh, particular uh, thing now after this we will define a while true function so while true and then we will read frame by frame so return frame equals to cap dot read this cap dot read function gives us two values this return is basically a boolean which tells us if we are able to fetch the next frame from the video source or not and then frame is obviously the frame from the from the video now after that we will resize the frame so i am utils dot resize and inside this i will define frame and then we will resize our frame by width 800 and once that is done we will simply use cv2 dot im show to show the frame so i will use here vision and sorry i will simply write frame now once that is done we will define a key so that whenever we press any key our window will close so wait key and one and after that if key is equals to equals to which means if i press q my window will automatically close break and once we break from this while loop we will simply destroy all windows that's it so it looks fine let's quickly run this code to see if we are able to load our video file or not so python 3 opencv example okay there looks to be a problem oh so we forgot the full path so i'll mention full path here videos and then let's rerun this cv2 oh sorry so we have a typo here perfect now let's do it again perfect so you can see that it has loaded our video file and it's working perfectly fine so after this you can perform the same operations which we previously did for our image so for example if i want to put a text on the frame so what i'll do i will simply copy this and i will simply copy these two and after the frame i will paste it somewhere here and then save it and then i'll go back to my video file i'll press q and then i will run it again so you will notice that uh, okay so we just have to rename it frame and then frame here as well and then if i rerun this you will notice that it is showing our text so it is showing our text as well as the rectangle so this is how you can load an image file or a video file in OpenCV Python and the main motive of this video was to give a bit of an introduction about OpenCV because we will be using OpenCV a lot in our coming videos. So I hope this video is very useful to you and thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel.